Uh, and one of the key pieces of feedback that was revolutionary at the time, of course, is very obvious in hindsight, but was get out of the building. So there's, of course, a lot of different applications uh, of, of this technology, and we believe uh, uh, if we unlock the power of this, we could have tremendous impact on, on human, uh, human health care. Uh, so uh, I started off saying I was a geek, and of course I'm still still a geek, and it was very hard back in the day when we were still out of a lab at the University of British Columbia uh, to find out what are those first applications that we would focus on. Uh, and UBC had a program called Entrepreneurship at UBC. We, we were actually the guinea pigs that went through this program. It was the first year, and so they were learning, we were learning. Uh, uh, we didn't know that they were learning on us, uh, but uh, uh, we, we, we definitely took the plunge. Uh, and one of the key pieces of feedback that was revelatory Revolutionary at the time, of course, is very obvious in hindsight, but was get out of the building, go talk to people. Uh, and, and, but you have to put it into perspective. We were a bunch of really, really geeky people in, and wanting to just be in the lab and not talk to another human being. Uh, and so it, it, was, it was revolutionary at the time to get out of the building, go talk to pharma companies, go talk to patients, go talk to researchers, understand what this potentially transformative technology could do so we could go back to the drawing board and come up with solutions that could make a big difference. So, Again, that's a key piece of advice. Uh, uh, don't just develop something and hope that they will come. Go out there, develop solutions that uh, could solve real problems uh, and making sure that that solution is a very scalable one and a valuable one.